Hey everyone, Technoment here with the updated video for you guys on how to fix your Bluetooth not working on your iPhone. So let's get started. Now, whenever you're having this issue, the very first thing and the simplest thing you can do is turning on and off your Bluetooth by going into your settings and then click on Bluetooth and you want to simply turn off Bluetooth uh, for a little bit and then turn it back on to make sure that it's just not a quick a glitch and sometimes simple as that it will work. Now another thing you also do is pull on the control menu or pull it up, put your phone on airplane mode for a few seconds and then turn off the airplane mode. That does a quick a refresh as well with network settings and hopefully after that you can connect. Now if you're still having the issue, the next thing you wanna do is turn off Bluetooth here just like that and then also the device that you have, you wanna go ahead and turn it off as well. So if you have like a headphone that you're connecting, find the power button there or AirPods or your Apple Watch, turn it off. And then you wanna force restart your iPhone. So in order to do that, you're gonna press and release the volume up, press and release the volume down and then hold on to the side button. So I'm gonna do volume up, volume down, and then I hold on to the big side button and we're gonna wait till the phone completely shuts down where it's gonna say slide to power off, but you do not need to touch anything. Just keep on holding that side button and then we're gonna wait for the Apple logo to appear. At that time, we'll let go of that side button. And you might have to do it a few times to get the hang of it if it doesn't work. Remember, it's gonna be quickly press and release the volume up and then quickly press and release the volume down before holding on to that side button and that will basically shut down the phone software and reload the code and when you turn it back on you want to go ahead and check if bluetooth is turned on and it should turn on automatically after you do this if it doesn't you can just click on it and turn that on and then also turn on the device that you're looking to connect that wasn't connecting maybe like your headphones or apple watch whatever the other device had you want to turn that one on and off as well and hopefully after that you can go ahead and connect now let's say you still have an issue connecting. The next thing you wanna do is click on the device and then you wanna forget that device. So I'll show you on another phone here, I have a device that's connected. So it's gonna look something like this where if you have a device connected, right? Like a AirPod or something, you click on that eye icon and then click on forget and then click on forget this device and then just forget that device and then you can reconnect that device again. That way it's removed and then you'll do the same thing again here you're gonna turn off Bluetooth, turn it back on, and then you're gonna hopefully see your device and just reconnect it that way. And hopefully that is working for you. Now if that isn't working, the next thing we wanna do is reset the network on our phone by going into our settings. General, scroll down where it says transfer reset iPhone. Just click on reset. And the reset that we wanna do is a reset of the network settings. Again, this will not delete any of your data. It'll reset things like saved Wi-Fi and any Bluetooth connected devices. You'll just have to simply reconnect them, but there's something you'll need to do if Bluetooth still is not working. Finally, after doing that, if it's still not working, it's time to update the software on your iPhone by going to your settings, general software update, and see if there's a software update out. What happens is usually a previous software might have caused Bluetooth not to work, and then a new update is out. You wanna go ahead and update it. At the same time, also see if you can update the device of the Bluetooth for if you have a headphone or AirPod or a car, like if you're doing the AirPlay, whatever that device is, sometimes the device can also get a software or a firmware update. You just have to uh, either look in their manual or contact the actual manufacturer and they'll tell you how to update the software because each time the iPhone software get updated, that also has to update it so the Bluetooth connection can happen and the software can be compatible. And that's it for fixing your Bluetooth. I hope your Bluetooth issue is fixed. If so, please consider the like and subscribe button. Also, if you found a better solution, leave it in the comment section to share with everyone as well. And thanks for watching today. See you guys next time.